dear students i am pleased to meet you through this lecture video during this covid 19 disaster i request you that stay home and stay safe with this tip i would like to start my lecture video on chemical kinetics numerical problems and solutions students as we have discussed in the theory classes in the chapter chemical kinetics we have various kinds of problems for the discussion one is on the kinetics of oxidation of indigo carmine by chloramine t by spectrophotometric method and secondly on the second order reaction with the reactants of the same concentration and third one is calculation of the half life period for the second order reaction when the reactant concentrations are equal so i will take up one by one first problem is in a study of kinetics of oxidation of indigo carmine by chloramine t by spectrophotometric method at lambda max 610 nanometer at 298 kelvin the following results were obtained in the table time in minutes 0 18 21 24, 24 minutes are given corresponding ods are 1.03 0.51 0.45 0.40 0.40 0.40 using this table show that the reaction is of first order it means that the target is we have to show that based upon these data we have to show that the, this reaction follows a first order kinetics so you have to recall the experiment what you have done in the laboratory hours you have taken indigo carmine and chloramine t along with a buffer solution in a cuvette and you have placed in the uh, colorimeter instrument at the uh, lambda max of 610 nanometer as you have noted down with increase of time you have observed that there was a decrease in the absorbance and finally using these datas and using the rate constant equation that is k is equal to 2.303 by t log of od not by odt uh, you have calculated the rate constant here also you have to do the same thing you have to calculate the rate constant for 18 21 and 24 minutes and consolidate the values of rate constant for 18 21 and 24 and find that the rate constants are similar or different if they are same then you can say that the reaction is said to be first order kinetics now we start solving this problem using this formula k is equal to 2.303 by t log of od not and odt and for this how to use this formula for t for whichever t you have to calculate the rate constant you have to take that t and od not is similar for all the calculation of 18 21 and 24 minutes that is 1.03 odt is for which time you are going to calculate the rate constant the corresponding od should be taken now for example uh, first case i have to take when t is equal to 18 minutes od not is 1.03 odt is 0.51 fill all these values in this equation that is 2.303 divided by t is 18 log of od not is 1.03 and odt is 0.51 divide 2.303 by 18 and 1.03 by 0.51 uh, respectively and you will get 0.2128 and log of 2.02 take the log of 2.02 you will get 0.3053 and multiply 0.3053 by 0.2128 you will get 0.039 and uh, you can write in this way as 3.9 into 10 to the power of minus 2 the final unit is per minute similarly you have to calculate the rate constant for t is equal to 21 minutes od not is equal to 1.03 odt is equal to 0.45 and fill all these values in appropriate places 2.303 by 21 time is 
log of 1.03 because OD0 is 1.03, ODT is 0.45. 2.303 by 21 is 0.128. Uh, 1.03 divided by 0.45 is 2.28 and multiply, take the log of 2.28 as 0.3579 with multiply with 0 0.109 will get 0 0.039 per minute and you can write it in this way also 3.9 into 10 to the power of minus 2 per minute. Similarly, you have to calculate the rate constant for t is equal to 24 minutes. OD0 is same 1.03, ODT is 0 0.40 and uh, uh, filling all these values, uh, finally I will get 0 0.039 per minute or 3.9 into 10 to the power of minus 2 per minute. Uh, now you can see, consolidate the values for 18 minutes 3.9 into 10 to the power of minus 2 per minute for 21 minute. Rate constant is 3.9 into 10 to the power of minus 2 per minute and 24 minutes the rate constant is 3.9 into 10 to the power of minus 2. The rate constants are obtained uh, by using this first order rate integrated rate constant equation and these are found to be same at a different interval of time t. Therefore, uh, the reaction is said to be first order reaction. Now, we can move to solve the second problem. A second order reaction with reactants of the same concentration of 0.1 molar is 40% completed in 50 minutes. Calculate the rate constant. Uh, you can calculate the rate constant by using two methods. Uh, the first method I have discussed here and second method I am going to discuss in the next slide. Okay, how to solve the rate, uh, this problem by using first method. Read the problem once again, a second order reaction with reactants of the same concentration. Means that they have asked for a second order reaction with reactants of the same concentration. And they have asked for calculate the rate constant so that you have to re uh, recall the formula for calculate the rate constant for this condition that is second order reaction with reactants of the same concentration is K is equal to 1 by T x divided by a into a minus x dm cube per mole per minute. Now, the job is you have to get these values that what is the value of x, what is the value of a minus x and what is a and what is t you have to get uh, from the data given in the problem. Now, that is the main uh, thing you have to do now. A is equal to 0 0.1 mole per dm cube uh, and 40% is completed. It means that in terms of percent, the amount of reaction completed is that is called as x that is 40%. And what is remained is initially the reactant concentration is 0.1 mole. In terms of percent, it is 100% itself. Therefore, a is equal to 100%, x is equal to 40%, a minus x is 100 minus 40, 60 percentage. Uh, now, x is known, a minus x is known. This x and a minus x, you can fill as 40 and 60. And what about this a? Can you fill 100 or 0.1? We are supposed to take the value of 0.1 here because you have to look at the unit for this second order rate constant is dm cube per mole per minute x is for percent a minus x is percent so percent and percent gets cancelled and this a again if you take in terms of percent you are not going to get this unit therefore a should be taken as 0.1 mole per dm cube okay so that this a is to be taken as 0.1 but not 100 okay now <coughs> x is 40 a minus x is 60 t is 50 and a is 0.1 now substituting these values 
you will get 40 divided by 300 gives you 0.133 dm cube per moles per minute. Now, uh, you can convert this into per second so that I have divided this answer by 60 so that you will be getting 0 0.0022 dm cube per mole per second. You have to strike out this. It is not just per second. It is dm cube per mole per second. And I have to write uh, in the exponential form as 2.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 dm cube per mole per second. Second method you can look at A is equal to 0 0.1 mole per dm cube, T is 50 minutes. If you want to get X in terms of mole per dm cube and A minus X is in terms of mole per dm cube, what you have to do is you have to calculate X in mole per dm cube. How you have to do that? You have to calculate the 40% of the reaction out of 0.1 mole per dm cube it means that 40 percent concentration out of 0.1 is being consumed or reacted or decomposed in the reaction so that you have to calculate 40 percent of 0.1 therefore x is equal to 0, 0.0 mole per dm cube uh, the steps I have written as 40 divided by 100 is 40 percent into 0 0.1 0 0.1 is this a and 0.4 into 0.1 gives you 0 0.04 mole per dm cube. Now, a minus x, a is 0 0.1, 0 0.04 is x, so that a minus x is 0 0.06 mole per dm cube. Now, 1 by t, t is 50 minutes, x is, uh, uh, x is 0 0.04, a minus x is 0 0.06, a is 0 0.1 again. You have to substitute all these values you can do the calculation you will get 0 0.04 divided by 0.3 and uh, the final answer is 0 0.133 dm cube per mole per minute and you can convert this into second divide this by 60 seconds you will get 0 0.0022 dm cube per mole per second or you can write it as 2.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 dm cube per mole per second Similarly, the third problem is also a same kind of problem where uh, the concentration 0.1 mole is given, uh, x is given 60% and t is 15 minutes and similarly you can do the calculation as by the first method or second method, I will get 1.0 dm cube per mole per minute. And uh, similarly, the fourth problem is also a same kind of problem where concentration is given different 0.05. 65% that is x and uh, a minus x is 35% time is 50 minutes you have to follow either method 1 or method 2 you will get the answer as 1.23 into 10 to the power of minus 2 per uh, dm cube per mole per second similarly the fifth problem is also a same kind where the concentration is 0 0.1 mole per dm cube is given x is 10% and time is 30 minutes so that a minus x is 90%. Now you can fill all these values in the same equation. I have obtained the rate constant as 6.166 into 10 to the power of minus 4 dm cube per mole per second. Now finally, the last problem is calculate the off-life period of a second order reaction in A is equal to B given that rate constant is 3.4 dm cube per mole per minute and concentration of reactant is 0.1. Now rate constant is given, initial concentration is given, they have asked for a half life period for which reaction, second order reaction, for what condition, A is equal to B. Now the equation for this is T of is equal to 1 by K into A minutes, K is 3.4 and A is 0.1. The final unit is minutes because mole per dm cube from 0.1 and dm cube per mole from K will be cancelled only remained in the denominator is minutes and therefore final unit is minutes the final answer is 2.94 minutes okay i hope that all the problems are clear to you thank you for watching this video stay home and stay safe thank you once again